Oh, it just ran through the Aries now. Holy Spirit, would you link me into the soul cycle of Aries? Could be closing out a cycle, and strength could be dealing with the wheel. What should Aries be aware of? Holy Spirit, my priestess is still closing out a cycle. Okay, you got in the heart of the matter. The matter is Ten of Cups and a King of Cups. So you could have a uh, King of Cups. It's like a master of feelings. Somebody who's in charge, who's in control of their feelings. Ten of Cups is like the ultimate fairy tale ending, or whatever you prescribe that prescribes to be to you. What do we got in the challenge position? Challenge position is Page of Cups and Lovers. So it could be dealing with a Gemini, challenge, challenged by a Gemini, or Gemini could be challenging you, or a contract. Could mean a contract of some kind. Hmm. This is like imagination too, so uh, being in your head, imagination, daydreaming, um, hmm. this is six, okay, so that's a challenge is possibly to uh, complete a contract or page of cups. To maybe be a little bit more childlike, maybe, maybe I don't know, not be so serious. Or page of cups. And what do you think about subconsciously? Subconsciously, I can't give them all. Oh, that's a lot of spirit. Subconsciously, you're thinking of the seven of wands, the queen of wands, the six of swords, and judgment. Okay. Queen of Wands, that could be you, you could be a Queen of Wands, because you're an Aries. Uh, seven of Wands, there's a lot of fire in this one. So. A lot of fire in your subconscious, so you're thinking a lot of fire. Uh, holy, you could be getting in a conflict subconscious, is what you're thinking of subconsciously. So, but you'll have the higher ground, it looks like you've got a bunch of haters around there. Be careful, you might light your balls on fire. Six six six. Oh, six six. So two sixes. And this is sailing on the common waters. You're also thinking about and judgment. You're thinking about divine judgment. So the last judgment. Okay. That's a lot of people. subconscious. So you got a lot in your mind. And uh, got. In the past, how do we get here? It's good. Uh, in the past, you had a love offer, and if you were getting a new perspective, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, there's some kind of uh, loving offer, possibly from a Pisces. We're getting a different perspective on a love offer, possibly. There's some kind of love. And presently, the present energy is ooh, the Ten of Pentacles presently and the Hierophant, so a religious leader, which could be a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Taurus or an institution or religious leader. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow, that's nice. What do we got in the future? Heartbreak. Oh, that's a 
seems out of place in here, but... Okay, how are you influencing this situation? Come back on. Uh, you're influencing it. Being happy, shedding light, uh, being very outgoing, happy. Optimistic. Beautiful. That's Leo energy too. So, so we got in, uh, hopes and fears. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's your fears. This is ultimate betrayal. And what do you got in the lens you're looking to is trying to, uh, I don't know, a love offer or apology or some kind. Knight of Cups. That's some kind of heartfelt uh, gesture. What do you got in the environment? This one might come up blocked. Okay, so Eight of Swords could be blocking you. It's like uh, self imposed in prison, and it could be, but it could be. Uh, hmm, let's see what this one says. I don't know if it's in prison. It could be initiation, I remember that. Eight of Swords. Precarious situation, limited options, feeling helpless. Um, we spend a lot of time in. Okay, yeah. This is the one saying you should, you should get out and move, move more. So. Uh, what do we got in outcomes? Give me three for the outcome. Give me whatever you want. Two. Okay, giving and receiving is outcome. Spying is the outcome. Or you could be dealing with younger air sign. Uh, give me two more for outcome always. Three more. Okay, so conflict, the Empress, and Nine of Pentacles. You could be dealing with that air sign or um, I'm thinking this Empress is possibly you. Well, it could be this air sign too. I don't think so. And conflict. It's kind of conflict. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the High Priestess. So, currently in uh, present energy, we got a higher font. And at the bottom of the deck, we have a High Priestess. So, that's like a religious couple, kind of. Uh, like Bod and Todd, or, or Ned and Bod, or whatever. So, I don't know if you know somebody like that. But. It doesn't have to be a religious leader either. It could be like, uh, I don't know, anything. Like, uh, religiously motivated. Yoga, yoga class or something. Could even be considered that. Very yoga instructor probably. And I'm going to do a oracle card to see if your ancestors want to say anything to the ancestor card. If your answer just want to come through and say anything else, say through this card at the end here. This is the, uh, what was it? The goddess and God's guardian. Goddesses, gods, and guardians are the whole card. So. Family, nice. Okay, so this is Hathor, so family. I'll read, I'll read what it says about it. Um, Hathor landed right on that page, too. Okay. So Hathor, it says, soul family. So, beloved ancient Egyptians for over 3,000 years. Hathor, that's the way it's pronounced, is a goddess of light, joy, gratitude. She was a dove and spirit of women and nourished the universe with her milk, including her son Ra. Her temples were full of dancing, music, and pleasure. Her symbols are the sun and the moon, a lioness, a wind cow, a sycamore tree, a rattle used at salvation. Queen of both the underworld and the sky, this multi talented goddess. 
manifests as the seven hathers who appeared as a child birth before Tao Death's throne. The goddess spirituality Hatha presides over the moon temple with sacred gatherings that draw together ancient soul circles to receive divine downloads and worship the goddess. A magical time of reconnecting with your soul family has arrived when you reincarnate in this lifetime your soul trying to reunite with its ancient lineage, kindred spirits that you knew in previous lifetimes, both on earth and in the cosmos. You don't have to know how this will happen. It's written in the stars that you'll be brought together. Um, when you meet members of your soul family, it's an instant an intuitive recognition of mutual understanding and emotional safety. You don't need to analyze where you feel so seen and supported by that it can be unspoken on. That brings relief from a previously solitary soul guided path. Your soul family will always want you to shine brightly. They won't be threatened by your expansion or successes. On the contrary, some of them will go out of their way to help you achieve your spiritual mission. This may be a time of reinitiation in the moon temples where you will rediscover sacred teachings, engage in magical rituals, and connect with lunar cycles. Additional meanings are you share an important soul connection with this person, let Hathor guide the relationship. Receive motherly love from a parent, friend, or group who can look after you. Join a dancing, singing, or music class. The invocation is I am not alone, my soul family are riding to with me. Okay, so that's, this is your spirit guide, I guess, for your reading, and you have it. It's this mother's of Ra or whatever, so I don't know that, so she's Egyptian anyway. Mm, what else should I go over here? Okay, so you might have a contract in your challenge. You have a lot on your mind right now. The past, you had a different perspective perspective. Presently, you might be dealing with a religious leader or institution and a pentacle. In the future, you have heartbreak. I don't know what that is. Let's go on that, actually. What's this heartbreak? What is this heartbreak? Oh, these two blocked. Justice blocked. And the moon. There's something hidden in justice. This is the, where the heartbreak comes from. It's Libra energy and Pisces and Cancerian energy. They both come out blocked. So maybe justice could be blocked in there. Or something's definitely definitely hidden about justice or something like that. That's yeah, it's two major arcana, so something to do with justice. Right. Hmm. Okay, you gotta tell me what now. What's the hidden thing? Can you tell me the hidden thing? What was the, what's, the, what's the hidden thing that leads to hunger? This one? The star, okay, so Aquarius can be from Aquarius. Uh, that's hope, uh, faith, and healing. Okay, so it might be do something like that. The lovers. Challenges the lovers. It could be a Gemini too. Okay, that's about it, I guess.